you've said that public education and public schools are under attack. I'm wondering whether this is something that other education secretaries have had to grapple with. You know, I've been in education, uh, you know, about 25 years, um, not including the time I was in higher ed as a student. Uh, I've never seen it where it is now. There was civility. We could disagree. We could have healthy conversations um, around what's best for kids. I respect differences of opinion. I don't have too much respect for people that are misbehaving in public and then acting as if they know what's right for kids. Or people that have a problem when we're trying to provide some support to folks who are buried in debt and complain about a $10,000 support for thousands of their constituents but are okay taking over a million dollars in loan forgiveness themselves as an elected official. That hypocrisy, I, I want to call it out at the top of this conversation because there's a team that's fighting for kids and there's a team that's fighting against kids. There's been so much debate about how schools teach America's history with slavery. Big picture, what is the lesson that students need to learn about those chapters in America's history? Yeah. It was a very ugly chapter in our country's history. Something that, uh, as a country, we should be ashamed of. Something that, when slavery ended, it didn't end the belief in some that the African Americans here were inferior. There were some that still carried that. And that through a series of improvements in law, the situation got better. And that to this day, we're still working on a more perfect union that sees everyone as equal. And that we're still seeing some of the impacts of some of the decisions that were made, not only two, three hundred years ago, but uh, 60 years ago in the unfair housing policies and the lending policies. So when the kids get a little bit older and they can see the impacts of public policy and what that means on communities, um, they can understand how history, um, just because you write a policy doesn't mean things change overnight. That it was an ugly chapter in our country's history that we worked hard to overcome and that there were heroes who stood up to fight slavery. There are people that we should admire and respect, black and white, that truly became heroes in our country because they stood up for what's right. And that's what we want to teach our kids. What we don't want to do is hide the truth and act as if it didn't happen or that when it ended, everything was fine. And definitely don't want to teach that there were some benefits to that for those who are enslaved.